Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Bold, and I'm back again for another video. I know I've made way too many today, but I have something cool to show you. There has been some sort of a back-end change, and we now have the hearts available to purchase the ultimate reward. I am so excited. I actually think it's cool. I mean, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. Seems to be most people don't like it. I think it's really neat. If you're wondering about my cute little tail, I can link the video below. I did a video earlier today on it. Check it out. Okay, let's go buy the hearts to get this ultimate cape. Uh, not there. 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 There we go. So in the beta, we now have all four seasonal hearts available. I'm just going to buy them all. That might be a bad idea. Ugh, we'll see. At the moment, only the cape is available. The mask is not. I'm pretty excited to see what the mask looks like actually on a Sky Kid. But I'm much more excited about this weird little cape. So we have one last heart to purchase from the overactive overachiever. That wasn't their name before. I think it was Outcast or something. Hello. And let's go get this cape. So for those of you that saw my earlier video today, you know it has changed a little bit, but it still is a very, very furry looking cape. I'm excited. It seems to be very different looking depending on what realm you're in, which that might be improved upon a little bit. Let's go try it on. Okay. Where is it? Right there. Ooh, fuzzy. Let me make a cool outfit real quick. There we go. We're nice and dark. We're spooky. This cape, I actually like it. I know I said already, but some people are not liking it. I think it's really unique. I think it's super cool. I think that two seasons from now, this is gonna be an ultimate reward that people are going to wish they had just because there's nothing like it. It's so cool. I love the fur texture on it. I like the lighting from within it looks like it has. And let's see what it looks like when we're flying. It gives such bloodborne vibes. I don't know. So cool. It's just furry and fuzzy and warm. And oh my god, I just realized what this cape actually completely reminds me of. It's like the fuzz from Splatoon 3. Is it not? It's almost the same color, like that brownish red from the, like, Octarians getting corrupted by the fuzz. I don't remember exactly what the terminology for it was, but it's so much like it. All right, let's check it out in some of the realms. Here we are in the Isle of Dawn. It looks pretty similar, at least over here where it's a little bit dark. And I also wanted to show the unique charging animation because this has a really cool charging animation. We'll go over to this winged light. Whoa! We got so red. And here's what it looks like when we charge. There are so few capes that have a different charging animation. There's the Days of Fortune one, the Kazuna Eye one, and is that it? I think there's another one. I just can't remember. And look how dark we are now. Woo. Something I noticed earlier is that if you go to the Season of Passage area, I have to charge again. The capes are so red in this lighting. It's almost blood red. I noticed on the guide. Look at that. It's so intense and weird, and it's kind of different for Sky, which I like. I don't know. I think it's very cool. Here we are in the prairie, and you can see it's a little bit lighter looking, kind of pinky, as we're going through the clouds. However, it's also incredibly hard to see. Once we get out of this cloud tunnel, we'll get a better look. I just want to see it in flight, too. It's so weird. It's like a hairy bat cape. All right, here we are on the ground. It's so dark from this side. 
Like it almost looks completely black. And then this side, ooh, it's almost lifelike. It's wiggling in the wind. I don't like it with the light on it. It's a little bit creepy. Like tendrils wiggling. Ooh, cool. Here we are in the rain, and we're actually just going to let our light dissolve. You can see the reverse animation going up. And here is the white losing our light going down. Now, unfortunately, in a more recent update, they made it so if you're a shadowy, anonymous sky kid, you're just showing the default cape. I'm not really sure why that is, but they've changed it to be like that, unfortunately. Here we are, recharging again. Very fast. Woo! All charged. And in the Golden Wasteland, it is so dark. As we fly above this little pond, you almost can't see your cape at all. So weird. And there's a little bit of a bug over your winged light. It looks blurry for some reason while you're in motion. All in all, I think this cape is extremely interesting. I'm interested to see if they'll change anything about it because there is a lot of negative feedback towards it. People prefer the blue. I also like the blue quite a bit. So, you know, if it changes, that is actually fine with me, but I actually like this Splatoon fuzz red tone it has right now. And once we go into the Starlight Desert, you can see it actually has a really purpley look to it. On this side again, very dark, but this side, so nice in that moonlight. Purple! In this lighting, it kind of reminds me of before the update when it was a bit bluish looking. Well, yeah, that is all I have to say about this cape. I think it's pretty cool, and I'd like to see everyone else's opinion in the comments if you feel like leaving it. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye!